Hello people, today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, pretty old computer hardware today. This is not the newest off the block, this is a pretty typical uh, old computer from somewhere on the range of 2005 or 2004, somewhere in between today. <laughs> not today, but... From that genre of era, so, um, this is my parents' old laptop we're going to be taking a look today. So, but, uh, let's talk about after the intro, okay? Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, compact laptop, which HP does own compact now. This is a, uh, what we're going to do is click something to make it speak out loud, so uh, the laptop will uh, explain itself, well, it will explain the model number. Oh, shoot. Oh, cut short. Okay, so we got back now. <laughs> Oop, wrong bun. So, okay, here we go yet again. So, we have the lot, like I said. Hopefully that was clear for you people. I hope that wasn't too garbled up. <laughs> was it? Hopefully it wasn't, so. Um, uh, the, using the Windows XP uh, text to uh, read speech thing, using that for to uh, say it, because if I were trying to say it, it would be all screw up. So, like the Camille explained itself, it's a. Presario B2000. And that product line, uh, been, been running, eight, well, uh, Compact been using that product line for an awful long time, so, but, um, we can, uh, talk about a little bit, actually, we can talk about a little bit of story, this is a, uh, Force in-store, uh, brand new laptop, they got from a store. Uh, we did porch, my parents did porch just this particular compact laptop from Fry's. I will overlay or cover my face up of that store location. We, uh, there was a favorite electronics store. We do have to travel a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, my parents, uh, these I pick on this one. Um, at the time, we didn't do. There wasn't. At the time, I didn't think when we pick up, a lot of people was doing a lot of. Uh, um, a lot of review and uh, other stuff. And. Um. If we uh, read a review, we probably would know ahead of time. Um, <laughs> because uh, out of the box experience, um, <clears throat> should we say uh, a little too slow and underestimated. So, hopefully, you can see. I don't know if you can see or not, but if I go like that. Um, we have my parents had a little bit of issue with this particular one, but um, when I say issue, um, hardware not keeping up 
with Windows XP, especially the official price look. So, um, the only issue to resolve the the performance, uh, it was it was it was it's it was very slow at the time. So, um, wasn't too good. <laughs> Simple as that. Had to add memory stick uh, or add more memory to it. Uh, to support the theme or Windows XP official price theme uh, to it, so get that all working. And uh, this is a uh, fresh copy of Windows that I did a little while ago. Um, for the longest time, we we I used I used to be a EVG fan, but now. I don't like AVG no more because AVG caused a blue screen to the original uh, Windows XP um, installation, so it did cause some issues. So I had to um, had to uh, fix that, reinstall Windows XP. So uh, done that. So now it's doing okay. But, uh, obviously, uh, this is not the top spec machine, unfortunately, this is, uh, the hardware, it's, it's, uh, it's enough to do in their browsing, which, back in the day when this laptop was released, and when they made it at the time period, um, this would do just fine in that time period, but now in this generation, it uh, it does struggle a bit on internet browsing. Um, this is a very limited power machine, so uh, this is not an ideal machine for uh, heavy video editing and heavy photo editing. This is not. <clears throat> This is mostly, um, I don't know what the heck they were trying to market it to. <clears throat> Obviously, this is not a gaming machine. This was a little more of a home and office use. There was a warning stick on this machine of this is a home and office use uh, laptop. So, that's what it mostly designed for. So, um... Now, I, the probably some metadata software will work, will work hopefully with this hardware, but I wouldn't know uh, because at the time I was very young when my parents got this laptop. Like I said, I was when they picked it up. Um, I was very young. Um, the knowledge that I had at the time wasn't good enough at the time. I I was still learning uh, computer hardware-wise, so <clears throat> we uh, we didn't pick up this machine for a long term. This was definitely a short term for this particular machine. <laughs> so, but uh, it's all AMD base. Um, I will put up the I will put overlay photo for you people <coughs> for the for the process on the uh, for the uh, video card. Uh, I believe the ATI is, is embedded. Um, I'm not quite sure if ATI was uh, separate from AMD or not. So. I'm not sure if the ATI, uh, it does have a sticker or say ATI on it. Which I'm not quite sure if the ATI is uh, built onto the AMD process or or, or a separate unit. Um, uh, unfortunately, AM, uh, ATI is owned by AMD now. So, um, of course they used to be the big king, but now... Fallen behind, uh, ATI fell, fallen so behind now AMD owns the property of ATI now. So, <clears throat> um, 
So I'm not quite sure um, the marketing what uh, compact with marketing to. I, I'm not quite sure the um, not quite sure. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no product page. Uh, I'm pretty sure there or not. Excuse the noise if the microphone picking up or not. Not quite sure. Hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> um, like I said, it's not quite sure that they will, what kind of crowd of people they are uh, compact with marketing. Uh, it does have HP label and it does have HP software along with this compact, so. I'm not quite sure how far HP was owning a uh, compact, so I'm not quite sure how deep. So it does have the uh, the HP logo on it. So, <coughs> um, but uh, it's I say it's a pretty interesting little machine. Uh, pretty interesting. So, um. We can go with the port, um, you know, the top of it, mostly silver. This, this particular one, um, uh, it's a very odd machine for the time period because obviously, uh, widescreen, I'm not quite sure widescreen was cheap enough or what. <laughs> Not quite sure if they spend the extra for that or not, but oh well. But, uh, quite interesting. Uh, I would thought this would be the non widescreen, but oh well. Like I said, I wasn't too deeply in technology that in the time period. Um, but the top, there's no num numb pad or no numb keypad so all you numb boards up there so if I lift it up a little if I put something down <laughs> if I lift up a little uh, you would see this is a pretty good condition laptop my parents didn't use it a whole lot they end up using now or desktop can be a whole lot, so... Um, but if we take a look... Uh, there's not a lot of functionality button. Um, at the top, you did got... You got a simple Wi-Fi toy on and off, so if you're connecting it to your Ethernet cable, you can quickly turn it off in the middle. Power button, and you got your volume function. Uh, your volume uh, quick key, so you can do a quick quick tap. Uh, it does control the window window XP volume. Um, then you have your normal function key at the top, and this is American keyboard. You got your trackpad, you got your simple on and off, so I can you can disable the uh, the trackpad. Uh, if it's getting in your way, or what? You can turn that off. Then on the port side, uh, we have uh, a S video. This is the time period um, that, depending on the TV, if your TV had the S video, actually you can get the S uh, video to composite if you want. Uh, if you're using that at the time period, so you have S video, your normal optical drive, uh, USB, um, actually your headphone jack, then your indicator light right there. Hopefully, you can, well, maybe, okay. Uh, then the two speakers at the front. Then, when we get to the side, uh, you do have your, um, you do have your expansion, uh, expansion, uh, the expansion cord that you could add, so you could add like 
you could use uh, a USB or uh, Wi-Fi or whatever you could use. So pop that back in. Uh, USB. Um, I was saying with uh, with these USB, these are USB 2.0. These are not the high speed one. Uh, unfortunately, back in the day, um, it was USB 2.0. It might be USB 1, but oh well. Then on that side, you get the your uh, phone, um, your modem, and your Ethernet. Then your VGA. So yeah, pretty much that's pretty it. And there was a blink slot too. Uh, Look like there was an extra option you could add to it, so um, I'm not quite sure if they were using this uh, this chassis style as a um, as a um, as a uh, business. I'm not quite sure of that because yeah, there's no no docking, so. There's a sticker on the bomb made by HP. So, um, and this is the time period of when you buy these computers from 2005 to a little bit older age. This is the time period when you had a operating, the operating, uh, you you would have a copy of Windows. For your machine, then you would have another uh, DVD for your software and driver, specifically for you uh, for your laptop. And which I personally liked it. I I do like the idea, but um, right now everybody is getting a little bit cheaper these days. So being again so cheaper now, you don't get your your uh, a DVD with your uh, with your operating system or and your software too. So did include that and it did include a trial of uh, AOL. So you could have AOL as your internet provider. Uh, it did come with a couple of bundle of software. One of the bundle of software was. Um, uh, Photoshop, a uh, very early version of Photoshop, and a uh, uh, pretty good amount of uh, guidebook with it too, so uh, plenty of stuff, uh, plenty of stuff to get you up and running, so nothing too special. Um, so. And a lot of stuff I probably will specify, but mostly I'm that guy specify the hardware on the USB, uh, the ports on it, so. <laughs> but, uh, pretty much that's uh, pretty it for this uh, pretty uh, simple laptop. I had a 15 minute auto stop uh, engage. So, all I'm gonna do is uh, end the video. So, I'm gonna say uh, thank you for watching this uh, very quick video. I hope you have enjoyed so much that you would uh, subscribe or Google Plus me, whatever way you like to follow me, it's, uh, which way you like to. So, uh, if you want to follow on Google Plus page, I do. Tr I'm trying to post photos, so I've been trying to. So, been trying to post. <laughs> then, um, uh, now I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Uh, if you want to get notified, uh, if you want to get notified by email, uh. Uh, uh, please feel free to hit the bell notification button, click on that, and you should get 
a email of when I live stream or uh, post or whatever it's notified for you S and uh, give the video a like or a dislike and uh, check out the video notes uh, click on show me more channel email address you may have to copy and paste uh, Amazon wish list that you can use as as a recommendation list or wish list uh, or to support my channel so you can support the camera gears uh, or the project I have on there so if you want to help out with one of those two feel free to do if you like to and uh, tech tip form well community forms I'm part of so if you are signed up with one of those community forms, you're welcome to say hi to me. And uh, feel free to leave a comment. Well, if you have anything nice to say, or if you want to share your story of your experience of owning a uh, compact laptop, feel free to uh, share your experience. I would love to hear your experience in the comment below because I do have a story <laughs> uh, I can uh, in the uh, feel free to comment on the Google Plus page too I get notified if you people have comments uh, and plus if you keep your comment clean I will show uh, share them in the video so or I will pick them uh, I will pick a couple so I uh, want to uh, say that so another comment shout out too that all related so I'm gonna get the phone uh, I had a comment on HP slimline computer so uh, very nice comment. Uh, Sean Don or Sean Dune, something like that. Uh, excuse that if I screw your YouTube username. Uh, his comment about the HP Slimline is a smartphone or small get a lot of use, and I I, I do agree half and half. Yes, you you can get use. Um, uh, to uh, consume, uh, uh, to look at stuff. Um, I mean, the phone hardware it's getting there, um, getting close to computer like this. So, uh, uh, it's just right now the software you want. Let's say you want to use to edit your photo or your video or or software you want to write your code it's not completely there yet um, but I do agree with yes com uh, the phone hardware is getting close to a PC it's getting close um, there was there was there was some YouTube videos of people putting um, Windows XP in Windows 7 and Windows 10 on the smartphone so if you have a flagship phone or if you have a phone you can keep up you definitely can do it so uh, I'm not going to disagree on that well, well actually not disagree but I can see his point of yeah you can get use out of the phone <laughs> depending if you a uh, type person who doesn't mind the small screen so to be on that, but I'm going to say thank you for commenting. So, I will catch you people next time in the next video. So, see you later.